In this second video of a three-part series on search engines, we will be looking at the most popular search engine on the internet, Google. Again, first we will deal with CCleaner and how you need to run it to start with a clean browser. Then we'll look at how to configure Google Search in Mozilla Firefox, followed by Google Chrome, and finally, Microsoft Edge. Hi, this is Steve Staves, and it is my goal to help you make your computing experience easier. There are a lot of biased reviews on the internet with regards to different search engines and how they can benefit you or potentially destroy you. Some search engines take privacy into consideration and others, well, not so much. One of my goals is to present a series of videos that leaves out all the rhetoric and instead gives you an unbiased look at how you can set up the different search engines on your computer. In this video, I'm going to review Google Search which is currently the world's largest search engine with about 91.5% of the market share in internet searches. Is this better than DuckDuckGo, Microsoft Bing, Yahoo, or many of the other search engines that are out there? I will leave that up to you to decide, as I do have my personal preference, but this video is strictly how to, about how to use Google, if that is your preference. Also, there are toolbars that increase security and privacy protection, but that too is a topic for another day. When you customize your browsers for any particular search engine, the one thing that is always in the forefront is the actual preferences that you save. They're saved in a cookie. So in order to start off with a clean browser so that we can save the correct cookie, we need to run a program called CCleaner. If you notice here, in the first tab of CCleaner, it's got Microsoft Edge, Edge Chromium, and Internet Explorer. Under Applications, it has Firefox and Google Chrome. When we run this, we're going to delete all the cookies, the cache, everything else that's on your computer. That way we can start off from scratch and select the relevant cookies to keep so the next time you clean up your computer, it doesn't remove all your preferences. So if you have a look in CCleaner specifically, click on Options, then Cookies, and you notice on this particular computer there are no cookies to, that are saved. Let's start off with Mozilla Firefox. Open up Mozilla Firefox and you can see it's the default as if you just started off with a new fresh install of Mozilla Firefox. We want to change two things. We want to change our start page and we want to change our search engine. So to change your start page in any browser, you can just go to the page that you want as your start page. In this case, we're going to go to google.ca. Now, if you're in the US or somewhere else, you want to use google.com, that just type google.com here. Or if you're in another country and has a particular version of Google, use that one. So click on these three bars at the top right hand corner. Go down to Options on the left-hand side, click on Home, and you'll see your home page right here. Click on Firefox Home, Custom URLs, and you can use the current page. So that is now set as your home page. Your new tabs, so basically your tab is at the top here when you click on the plus, that is the new tab, and you can see everything that is pre-selected. These are all the settings right here. So if you don't want all the extra stuff, just deselect everything here. And when you go New Tab Now, you'll notice that it's all empty. But usually you want to have at least the web search in there. So you click on that and that's all you get. So that's your new tab. If you want your search uh, changed, we come into here and here's your default search engine. The default is currently set as Google, which is what we want it to be. So we have Google as our default search engine. And in any browser, this bar at the very top here, this is your actual search bar. So if you want to type Canada, for example, there we go. All the results from Canada comes up in the search engine. So if we close down Mozilla Firefox, now we have a look at CCleaner just to show you what happens. Click on another tab just to take it away so we can refresh the cookies. You can see all the cookies that were just set, uh, set up. The ones that you'd want to keep are google.ca, google.com, or any other web page that you have changed, or sorry, website that you've used such as google.eu or anything else. Now that that is set up, we'll look at Google Chrome. Now, Google Chrome is a little bit different. When we're setting up Google Chrome, click on the three dots at the top right corner, go into settings, and in settings, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and here's where you can set your start page. So if you want to add a new page to what you want to be your start page in Google Chrome, www.google.ca. So that now becomes our start page. Our search engine, same thing, is right up above called under search engine. You can see right now it's selected as Google. Now here's the thing with Google that 
can throw a lot of people off. When you click on New Tab, it brings up the Google New Tab option. If you click on Customize at the bottom here, you can change a background that you can select for your default background. You can change how you want the shortcuts to show up, whether you want shortcuts or not. And now you can see your Google search is a little bit more customized. If you close down your browser and reopen it, it'll take us to our start page. But you can see now the settings at the bottom here are a little bit different. If we click on settings, we have search settings such as how many results per page. The default is 10. Now we can make this 50, 100. Let's just choose 50 for now. And this is the information that will be saved in the cookie. So once that's saved, if we have a look at CCleaner again, you can see that your cookie, we've already selected google.com and google.ca. Bear in mind, each browser writes its own bit of information into the same cookie. If we open up Google Chrome again, just to show you the settings that have been changed, see on our default page, this is what we get. But if we select, let's change the option here. We go into settings. If we select our startup page, let's open the new tab page instead of um, google.ca or google.com. When we open it, you'll get a little bit of a different view. This is where you get your picture and your settings are right here. If you sign into Google, you'll get a lot, a lot more options that you can customize for your search engine. So if you want to turn on sync and have all your settings from other computers uh, synchronized over, log in and you'll get a few different options here. The same thing now, if you click on this at the bottom, you don't get, if we go to, for example, to google.ca, see your settings here are different than if you go to the new tab. This is, the way, this is the way Google works, and it can throw a lot of people off in terms of why they're not getting the options that they want. So now that we've got Google selected here, we'll do our third browser, which is Microsoft Edge. Same thing again. We'll just go to google.ca and click on the three dots. We'll go into our options or into our settings. On the left-hand side here on Startup, this is where you can either open up a new tab. There's your new tab as it shows up right here. Now again, they have the same thing in Edge as well, where you can click on settings, which is this little cogwheel in the top right, and you can choose a background or various other options, such as your country that you're in, if you wanted to show new, ta uh, new tab tips, and various other things. This is all saved in the cookie, which is why we wanted to reset our cookies to start from scratch. So if we've set that, you can of course change it to google.ca or google.com as your start page. Or if you want your search engine to be changed, you click on privacy search and services, scroll down all the way to the bottom and look at address bar and search. Here is your default search engine right here. So in this case, we wanna change it to Google. Close it down and we'll run CCleaner again so we can delete all of that browsing information that we just went to. Okay, let's open up Mozilla Firefox. There you can see it's our default google.ca that we selected. And our new tab is the way we customized it in Mozilla Firefox. If we open up Google Chrome, there we go. All of our settings have been changed. And the same thing should be applicable for Microsoft Edge. So any changes that you've made, because we've saved the cookie, now you'll have your changes. Hopefully that'll make your browsing or selecting the search engines just a little bit easier for you. With the second video in this series behind us and with a new knowledge on how to change your default search page in all three browsers and how to change the default search engine to Google in all three, take a few moments now to customize your browsers to get more out of your computer under your terms and not how someone else might have set it up for you. Please stay tuned for the next video in this series on how to use Microsoft Bing as your default search engine. Thanks for visiting my channel. Take care and have a safe day.